Good morning, everybody. So I'll share my experience with my TDS fiber optic internet installation with everybody. Um, just wanna say right here on this side of my driveway is where they dug the original hole right here. And then they had a machine which ran it under the driveway and to the other side. And then they actually kept running it underground until we got to right here, which you really can't even see it, is another hole that they dug about four feet deep. And then it came over to the post, the TDS fiber post. And then what they did is they trenched it to my house. So you can see right here, the trenching, not bad. And they came under my little fence here, which I have to keep the rabbits out of my daffodils. And then up to the side of the house. Now, got to the side of the house, and then originally all we had was a loop of fiber wire and the PVC pipe. And it's right next to my other junction boxes. And I have a split level. So the question was, do I want this to go straight inside into the split level? Now the problem is, I have a finished basement and really can't run the line all the way to the utility room across the finished basement like they could when they originally built the house with the uh, coaxial. Uh, currently I have Spectrum, but I'm gonna switch over to the fiber today on my Mocha network. So we spitballed it. The tech and I stood here and we talked and we said, well, we could drop it downstairs, but then it would be like high up against the wall inside the finished basement and it would be inside a bedroom. Or we could take the line and we could run it into the house because this is the room that I have my home office. I'm blessed to work from home. And I said, well, maybe we should do that. So he ran it up the side of the house, used a 10 foot optical and attached it to the house. Got some brackets. You know, they're just in the vinyl, just in the siding. And then ran, drilled a hole from the inside to out. Ran the cable from the outside of the house this way. Filled it with silicone. Looks like no critters are gonna get in. And what I'll do is I'll show you on the inside what everything looks like. So this is the window that we saw from the outside. And don't pay any attention to this. This is just an aerial that I have connected to my coaxial that goes into my TV for local stations. This is the actual drop box that we put in. And what he did is we lined it up with an existing power outlet. So everything's lined up nicely. And he cut the drywall and then he installed it in a snap box. I'm not taking everything apart, obviously, because don't mess with what works. And uh, I asked, I said, well, on the other side of this office, I have my, my wireless router and I have a, a hub that I use for my hardwired computers inside, the, inside my home office. And then, you know, the Wi-Fi goes through the house and then I have a Mocha network that everything connects to. And uh, he was nice enough to leave me 30 feet of optic that I'm actually gonna run around and then into where I have my router and Wi-Fi and everything. And I'll be showing you guys that later. And then we'll check the speeds. So, so far everything's great. And I have to say the tech was very accommodating. Uh, we actually stood and talked and discussed for like 10 minutes where we thought the best place to put this drop was. And I'm actually quite pleased with it. Now, you know, someone else moves in a house is just where they want the fiber optic to go into the house. Hell, I don't know, you know, you trade one upstairs bedroom for a downstairs bedroom, but I'll tell you what, the Wi-Fi signal being upstairs is gonna be a lot better than downstairs. And that was one of the, um, you know, one of the caveats that I was considering. So the next thing I'll do is, uh, I'll get this all unhooked. I'll run the wire around to my Mocha connection. I'll get everything hooked up and uh, 
we'll check the speeds. We'll check the speed on the Wi-Fi, see if it changed at all. And then we'll check the speed on my hardwired desktop here in the office. And then we'll check the speed on a Mocha computer downstairs in my studio where I do my video editing and I also work. So, I have the fiber optic line running parallel with my Ethernet cable. Uh, this one, this is hardwired to my desktop. And then I uh, have the fiber optic coming from the drop we showed earlier. Coming up. And this is where all the magic happens. So, right now we've got our Spectrum cable internet router. Uh, excuse me, a cable internet modem. And I've got my Go Coax, which is sending my internet signal through my home's uh, hardwired coax system. And we have everything in its uncle always comes with power adapters. And we have a Philips Hue light hub, and then I just have a simple Belkin, uh, you know, gigabit router that I have my office stuff hardwired into. So then all we need to do with this, which is the box that was provided by TDS, all I need to do is plug everything in and then plug that into my uh, Wi-Fi router. So let's do this. satisfying click that should be booting up and then what I will do is I will take on the back of my cable modem I will take out the Ethernet I will plug that directly into the Ethernet on the back of this device so we are showing right now Ethernet and power is booting. Recognizes the broadband. And it recognizes service. So I will check the desktop and we'll see if we're up and running on my home Wi-Fi network. All right, uh, just a quick down and dirty, phone on the monitor, everything was up and running immediately. Uh, just gonna go ahead and see what we're looking at as far as internet speed here. And, booyah. I am on a 600-400 data plan right now. 600 down, 400 up. Ping's great. Just outstanding. And lastly, I am down here on my, what I call my studio computer, downstairs, and we can see right here, we can see what I had been getting with the Spectrum downstairs on the Mocha network. Uh, we had a little dip there. I think I was playing around with some settings or the Wi-Fi connection there just to see what we had. But as you can see, and as you can see after today, um, we are upwards of 600, 400. So everything is working smoothly. Uh, the TDS, the fiber optic install went very well. Everything is just working. Uh, just a word to the wise. If you get an internet provider change and the only thing that changes is the way it comes in, uh, you don't necessarily have to change any Wi-Fi router settings. Certainly your Facebook password doesn't change. Certainly your, your Hotmail or Gmail or whatever you use for email, that doesn't change. Um, 
very often everything can be invisible except for the speed change. So uh, thanks everyone for listening. Sorry if I uh, ramble a bit and go on and on, but I just wanted to show everybody my experience with TDS fiber install and with the difference in the speeds that I'm getting. And then once again, my home Mocha network, uh, which is just running fabulous. Thanks all.